look at that. Looks like a lemon meringue pie, doesn't it, really? Oh, that would be wonderful. Right. This bit could go horrible on me. Very carefully, I'm going to trim the excess vellum off. Uh, I am going to do it very, very carefully because I do not want to split this skin in the wrong place. A lot of years ago I was flying with a very good instructor and we were flying an aircraft called a Zedberg and anyway we were flying around just for the sake of accuracy we were flying over RAF Debden which American friends might remember was the home of the Debden Eagles, the, the American fighter squadrons. Now we were flying along and I said to him could I demonstrate a stall? So he said yeah, away you go. So I cheerfully eased the speed off in the aircraft and eased the stick back a bit and I was talking all the while I was explaining to him that as the speed came off the uh, noise that the aeroplane was making diminished and the controls became non-effective and I was teaching him how it works. Now he already knew of course, being a clever instructor, the idea was that I was supposed to be demonstrating how good I was. Anyway, the old barge decided that she was going to drop a wing in a big way and entered a spin which was rather exciting because we weren't very high up and yeah I uh, had a few moments interesting flying as I sorted out the spin it was all very clever and I survived obviously and landed the aeroplane And the only thing he could think to say to me afterwards was, why did you stop talking? Well, the simple truth is, when I haven't got a clue what I'm doing, I stop talking. And this is a little bit nervous because I don't want to nick the skin with my blade. But it's coming. Like Christmas, it's coming. One of the other things about RAF Debden that is quite an interesting sort of story, we used to keep our aircraft in the hangar that Glenn Miller performed a concert in before he disappeared over the English Channel. But yeah, I was a Debden eaglet. When I was a Debden Eaglet, every so often we would have what seemed to me to be very old men. They weren't, they were older than we were. These American chaps used to turn up from time to time with their wives and their families to show their wives and families where it was they spent the war. And we'd always be very courteous to them and we'd let them wander about and these big old boys with their 8th Air Force flashes on their hats they'd walk about saying gee honey this is where I spent 1944 
my part of the world for a while had tens of thousands of Americans here and at the time and indeed since they were very welcome and when my mother was a little girl the area she lived in was surrounded by American Air Force bases This job is coming on, but I've got a feeling that it's it's best to take it slowly. Yeah, it's it's difficult where I've got the bolts holding it. If that end, that's better. You lot go and talk amongst yourselves for a while, because uh, this is probably, for everybody except Richard, this is probably deadly boring. Look at that! Fantastic! What do you think of that then, boy?